everyone, it's Georgia, and today I'm going to be filming my everyday makeup routine. Yes. You guys have been requesting this a lot, so I'm just going to do it. But before we get started, you may or may not have noticed that I have short hair and top braces. And they're purple. Yay! I love the short hair, but the braces I want to kill. So, that's it. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I do is pull my hair back so it doesn't get in my face. So I just use a Lululemon headband. These are literally like the best things in the whole world and you guys need them if you don't already have them. Once we've done that, first thing I do is primer and um, I don't use primer every day but a lot of the times I use it in the summer because my makeup comes off when I sweat. So I'm just using the Revlon Fix and Perfect Pro Primer doesn't really come in a color and if you guys are wondering I'm just using this Revlon Marchesa, Marchesa uh, compact that my mom got for me and it's like really cute so that's what it looks like okay, I just use my fingers to blend it in so what's up y'all how you doing this stuff feels so good on your face it's really cooling and smooth I don't know exactly how well it keeps the makeup on, so I wouldn't exactly like recommend it, but it feels really good and it's really cheap, so yeah. It doesn't do any like coverage though, because it's a primer. So now that that's done, I am going to move on into the rest of the face. So um, I don't use foundation every day, but when I do, if I'm having, yeah, if I have like a really bad sunburn, or if I have some pimples or something because I broke out or something. I will definitely use this. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the color Ivory. So yeah, I'm just going to use that. I don't use a brush to blend in my foundation because I don't think it's necessary. So uh, usually like two and a half pumps gets through my whole face. That's a lot of pumps. <laughs> yeah, well it's not coming out. Okay. So I just take some of the product, dot it on each part of my face. Actually, usually I just do like the forehead and the cheeks, and then I take whatever's left on the chin. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, just blend it in with the fingers. So guys, my birthday is coming up, which is really exciting. My birthday is the 19th, and then the day after, is the last day of school on the 20th, which is really exciting. I'm very excited about it. I'm just so excited. I think I'm gonna get a new computer for my birthday, so you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more vlogs. Just really good. And my sister and I are probably gonna be uh, doing a Q&A soon, so be on the lookout for that. I'm so ratchet, I'm using my fingers one of my foundation. You guys, if you do makeup every day, I have like the best tip ever. Do it in your bed. Like, the minute you wake up, have a makeup bag full of all the products you use next to your bed, and then just do it in your bed with a paper towel over it, and then it's like, you can kind of wake up in your bed and still get things done and not waste time. It's what I do. My cousin did it, and then I decided to do it. It actually like really works, so. yeah. The next thing I do is concealer. I usually always do concealer because uh, when I wake up, I look like a zombie, and I have pimples sometimes because, like, I'm in that age. So, the concealer slash, I kind of use this as a highlighter, too. The concealer slash highlighter I use is the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Rose. So, it looks like that. It's a little, um, clicky pen. So, the product, like, comes up, and, yeah, it works really well. And then, I blend it in with a Real Techniques... Brush by Samantha Chan. This is the deluxe crease brush. That's really good. All I do for the concealer is under the eyes, and then I kind of go like that, and I blend that out on my cheekbones. And this concealer, actually, this concealer highlighter sets like really quick, so I kind of do each part separately. So you'll see what I mean. So I'm just kind of blending that um, under my eyes and on. My cheekbones, just kind of like where the light naturally hits. If you have uh, naturally really oily skin, I would uh, probably get 
I wouldn't recommend this concealer and I'd probably get like a, a mattifying concealer. Um, but it works for me because I have really, really dry. I blend out my concealer really well so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing any. So then all I do is take the same product and I put a little bit down my nose and then I kind of bring it out here and then on my cupid's bow. Just where the sun would naturally hit your face. And I blend it with the same brush. This brush is so good, you guys. It blends out my concealer perfectly. I obviously would not use this as a crease brush. I kind of just put this on like the arch of my brow and just bring it up my nose and onto my forehead. And when all that is done, I just set all that stuff with a powder. So I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which you can tell I really, really like. The Sigma Large Powder F30 brush. I love this mirror because it has um, a close-up side and like a normal side. And I just powder up my face. I don't really powder the areas that I highlighted. I usually just powder my cheeks, my forehead under my eyes and on my nose just to make sure that the makeup stays in place so next is blush I usually usually the same I do the same thing every day uh, I use the benefit rocketeer blush it is super pretty it's a really natural just like shimmery pink rosy gold color and I use the I think this is the 139 I don't know the, the numbers kind of wrote off but it's a Mac 139 I'm pretty sure and it's just an angled blush brush I just apply that to the apples of my cheeks. And sometimes if I put on a little too much, I'll blend it out with my powder brush. I don't really use bronzer because I'm really pale, so bronzer just kind of looks like dirt on me. So I'm just going to move straight into the eyes. Hey guys, so I just switched positions so you can see my eyes a little bit better. So to start off, I use my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. It's just like kind of a yellowy toned base that I can use to prep my eyeshadow and I just use my finger to do that. Cause guys, finger is the best tool. You don't need all those fancy brushes, just use your finger. I just apply that on my lid and kind of in my crease. The only thing I don't like about using my finger for this product is that you can indent it as you can see I did here. It's a big finger indent. So it looks really weird without any eyeshadow on it, but you know the deal. For my eyeshadow, I use my MAC palette, which has a lot of different colors that I picked out for Christmas, but um, I don't use them all every day. I usually use most of them during the weekend. If you guys want to do a what's in my MAC palette, let me know. So to start out, I use a MAC 239 brush. It's a flat shader brush, and the color Naked Lunch, I'm pretty sure. And I put that all over my lid. It's a really pretty shimmery, like, I don't know, shimmery. So when I'm done with that, I will take the MAC 217 brush, a really, really good blending brush for like kind of lighter colors. I I think you should get probably a fluffier, a fluffier brush if you wanted to do like a smoky eye, but it's really good for every day. So I switch off between this and the Sigma tapered blending brush. I just take the color soft. I just take the color Soft Brown, which looks like that. It's kind of like an orangey brown color, like that. It kind of looks muddy on the finger, but it's really pretty in the crease. And it's a great blending color if you're doing a smoky eye. Put this and then put it in the other eye, obviously. When I'm done with that, I will go back with my 239 brush and go in with the color Nylon, which is probably the shimmeriest, most bright, vibrant, yellow-toned highlight you will ever find. And it looks horrible on the lid or on the brow, but it looks amazing in the inner corners. Apply that with your finger or the brush, but I just like the way it looks for the brush. I forgot if I put any product on my brush, so we'll see. Oh, I did. After that, I just take the color Orb, which is a matte pinkish white shade, and I put that under my brow. If you don't want to buy all these colors, 
Um, Orb is also a great lid color and it could substitute Naked Lunch if you wanted. So when I'm done with that, I will take my Sigma Small Angle E65 brush. Uh, it's just an angled eyeliner brow brush. And I'll take the matte black color. I don't know what it's called, but it's from MAC. It's just the matte black. And I'll put that on my lash line. I don't do too thin or thick a line because I don't want it to be too dramatic. So to finish up the eyes, I just used a little bit of their real mascara. This is a, from Benefit. This is a really wet formula. It'll stay on all day in the summer. Pretty much waterproof. I don't know if it says waterproof on here, but it's waterproof. It has spikes all over the brush so that it gets every bit of your lash and grips on to every single lash. So yeah, I'm just going to put that on my top lashes. I don't really do my bottom lashes because in the summer they melt down and then you have raccoon eyes. So not cute. And if you need to curl your lashes, you can do that. I don't really need to, so I'm not going to. <laughs> when I'm done with that, I'll just move on to lips and then I'm done. For my lips, I use Vaseline, not really anything special. Just my lips get really, really chapped, so I just like to use so is how you do it. And then sometimes that's all I'll use. But um, if I'm feeling really adventurous that day, I will use a Corez lip butter in pomegranate. It's just kind of a, I can get it open. Hmm. Bright pink color, but it's not that pigmented. So like, it just kind of is like the color of my lips. And it's super moisturizing. I don't really wear lip stuff to school because it doesn't really stay on. But if I were to, I would wear this. And yeah, that is my everyday makeup routine. Alright guys, so that is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All links will be below. Also, follow my sister. She is filming and editing all the videos that you see on this channel. And while we're on the subject, subscribe to my channel, Georgia Peach 201 and my vlog channel. Or just life. Yeah, that thing. I know I haven't posted vlogs in a while, but I will be posting vlogs very soon with the coming of summer. Was that right? Maybe. No. I don't know. Mm. Okay, so I think that is everything. Bye, guys. Once more, you open my door. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, everyone. It's Georgia, and today I'm going to be doing...